on a Yamaha 760, it's the GP 760, but this applies to any of the two-stroke. Because the piston arms are made onto the crank, you can't do it like traditional cars where they remove the, the bottom of the case and you have rod bearings and you can use ring compressors. So what you want to do on this is just mark where your bead is. You can see that keeps your piston ring from spinning. They're right in there. And then you've got one on the bottom right there. So you make a little line in line with this and write B for bottom. Then put one on the top and write a line and put top. Then you take pieces of Velcro like this. It's better if you can get this certain size. Then you just wrap it around just like that. You can see how this one's already wrapped. See how those pop out? So you push it opposite direction of your lines. Get it in between there. And then wrap it around just like that. Hold one side and then pull it tight. And you can see those rings go in there. It's gotta be pretty tight. Then you take the head, obviously make sure your exhaust ports are facing the right direction. If you can look down in this cylinder hole up here. Then you can see you set it right on top of the edge of that Velcro and push down. And it will slide the Velcro down. It'll slide your cylinder on and then you just unwrap this just like that once it's down here around here. And don't forget your gasket to put plenty of sealer on that. But it makes it a lot easier, especially if you're doing a three-cylinder Kawasaki, something like that. But it will save you a lot of time.